Okay, so this is a question about calculation of the density of a gas. So density is essentially mass for volume. So, uh, so let's figure out uh, for given when, let's say given n is 1 mole, and what is the corresponding to the mass and the volume? So corresponding mass is when you're looking at ammonia gas, so NH3 is nitrogen with 3 hydrogen. Nitrogen is 14 grams per mole. This is 3. So this is a 17 grams per mole. So this is their molar mass. So it means for a given 1 mole of NH3 ammonia, it will weigh 17 grams. What about the volume? Okay, volume is uh, nRT over P. In this case, pressure is 1 atm and 1 R 0.082. And temperature in terms of Kelvin was nicely given as 4. Kelvin. So when you calculate that, and um, you will have this uh, thirty-five point seven liter. Okay. So now we have an example of seventeen gram thirty-five point seven liter. That will give me the answer uh, for zero point four seven seven gram per liter. So the answer is B. Okay, so this is a question of the uh, partial pressure because it is a mixture of two gases and each of them the mass was given argons and the neon has a 10 grams and the total pressure so total pressure which is a 1.6 atm is a summation of partial pressure of neon and partial pressure of argon and one other relationship known for partial pressure, the question is partial pressure of neon, is mole fraction of the neon multiply total pressure. So this is a total, total pressure. So the question now coming down to X and E, which is a mole fraction of neon, which means uh, in cases number of moles of neon plus number of moles of argon and and number of neon. So number of neon divided by total number of moles in here. So how do I know my number of uh, moles of neon? This is coming from that you have a uh, 10 grams of neon and you need to find this looking at gram to mole combustion. One mole will weigh 10 gram. Uh, uh, actually if you're looking at the table, the periodic table is a 20, 20 grams of neon. So you will find out that will be 0. Point Five zero mole of neon. Moles of argon, which is uh, now mass is given as a ten grams of argon. You multiply grams of argon, changing to moles of argon, 
and 40 grams were corresponding to 1 moles of argon so therefore this is a 0 0.25 moles of argon so therefore total number of moles which is 0 0.5 0 0.25 so 0 0.75 so in this case, uh, the partial pressure on this is 0 0.75 is total number of moles, and this one is 0 0.50, and multiply total pressure, which is 1.60. Okay. So that's the mole fraction, and this is a total pressure. And if you do this, and you will get partial pressure of neon uh, is 1.1 at ATM atmosphere pressure. So for the answer for this is D. Okay, so this is a, another kind of partial pressure of questions. So I hope you guys can remember from my lecture, there is a beaker upside down in the water and then the reaction was happening in a flask and then this is kind of bubble bubble through and and okay so this uh, this hydrogen gas is kind of bubble okay so this the the whole thing is filled with hydrogen and then this is an H2O and also there's a water vapor too water vapor and the hydrogen coming from the mixtures. So the simple relationship is pressure uh, total that we can measure is actually pressure from reaction, which is a, there's a, uh, let's say, this hydrogen gas is coming out. Okay, so this H2 gas coming out from here has been all collected and then the pressure of H2O at certain temperature. This is what we call the vapor pressure. Okay. And in this problem, the vapor pressure was already clearly given here. So saying that the vapor pressure at 27 degrees C is this much of the torque. So, and then what else is given? The barometric pressure, which is the total pressure, is 748 torr. So, what that means is 748 torr is given, and this vapor pressure was given as 2674 torr. So, therefore, the partial pressure of H2 which is a 748 minus 26.74 torr that will be 72126 torr okay so um, in order for me to use this pressure unit something that using the ideal gas law I need to convert that, which is, uh, uh, this is corresponding to uh, 0 0.95 ATM. Okay. Remember, 1 ATM is 760 torr, or millimeter Hg. So, so now I know the pressure from the hydrogen gas was given up, uh, corresponding to 0.95 ATM and what else do I need uh, let's see the temperature right so temperature 27 degrees C 27 degrees C needs to be converted into Kelvin and that's a 27 plus 273 so in this case so temperature is a 300 Kelvin so therefore, what I need to calculate from this one, uh, because the 
that's the the volume apparent volume that the hydrogen gas is exerting it so this a volume is I know so you, you remember PV equal nRT I want to reconfigure that equation into no uh, number of moles of hydrogen is pH2 times volume uh, divided by nRT so RT is what I need to divide it okay so now pressure is 0 0.95 what's my volume uh, point 225 liter okay that was an ATM pressure so now I can use 0 0.082 is my R and the temperature is 300 Kelvin so this one is uh, what I have now is uh, 0 0.00869 so now I, I see this high number of hydrogen moles uh, being produced from this reaction is this amount of that. Now let me pay attention to this meaning of this equation one more time. If you're looking at here, one moles of hydrogen is being produced when you react one moles of zinc. And if you look at that, the zinc is balanced hydrogen is valence, SO4 is valence, so it, uh, this equation is valence, so I can use this one-to-one -one relationship right away. So what that means is this is same as number of moles of zinc that has been produced. So now use, right? And this is, uh, I will say, no, hydrogen was produced at the expense of zinc being used and the, so there's a one-to-one -one mole correspondence so I can usually say the used mole is 0 0.00869 mole of zinc and then what I need to do now is multiply this one by this uh, molar mass which is uh, what's the molar mass of zinc that's uh, 65 0.38 you're looking at the periodic table that's a grams of zinc for one moles of zinc right and when you do that you will get uh, 0 0.57 grams of zinc so the answer for this is A